Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're talking about Mary, the mother of Jesus. And last time we saw that denying the perpetual virginity of Mary is a very recent fringe position within Christianity. This time, we'll look at the third Marian dogma, the Immaculate Conception. Now, again, what do these words mean? Immaculate means having no stain or blemish, having or containing no flaw or error, pure. Conception is a word that refers to the forming of a unique organism when the sperm hits the egg, or, in a more general sense, any beginning. So, Immaculate Conception means pure from the beginning. Was Mary pure from the beginning? Since the time of the early church, Mary has been seen as pure, not just because of her virginity, but because of the role that she was to play in the life and mission of Jesus. For nine months, she actually carried Jesus, God, within her. It was very uncommon for God to be carried around by anyone before this. However, it's not unheard of. Thence will I give orders, and will speak to thee over the propitiatory and from the midst of the two cherubims, which shall be upon the ark of the testimony, all things which I will command the children of Israel by thee. Exodus 25.22 This verse is a reference to the ark of the covenant, the chest that God ordered the Israelites to make, and which they carried into the promised land. The presence and blessings of God followed the ark wherever it went, though at times misfortune would fall on someone who handled the ark when they weren't supposed to. God gave the Israelites very precise instructions on how to build the ark. And thou shalt put in the ark the testimony which I will give thee. Thou shalt make also a propitiatory of the purest gold, and thou shalt overlay it with the purest gold, and thou shalt make to it a golden ledge round about. Exodus 25, 16-17a and 24. Notice the stress that's placed here on the purity of the gold which is used to build the ark. God, being perfect, can't be carried in a vessel which is impure in any way. What happens when that vessel is a human being, however? And the temple of God was opened in heaven, and the ark of his testament was seen in his temple, and there were lightnings, and voices, and an earthquake, and great hail. And a great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, and the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. Revelation 11 19 to 12, 1. In these verses, Mary is compared to the Ark of the Covenant, and it's a key comparison, since while the Ark carried the presence of God in the wilderness, Mary carried it even more, actually carrying the physical presence of God. So her purity must have been even greater. How great, exactly? And the angel being come in said unto her, Hail, Hail full, full of, of grace, grace. The, Lord the Lord is with thee. With thee. Blessed art thou among women. Luke 1, 28. As we discussed during the season on grace, sanctifying grace abolishes all sin. So to be full of grace means being empty of sin. This means that Mary was sinless when she was visited by the angel. But for how long before that? This was a difficult question for the great minds of the church. The idea that Mary was sinless from conception had been a pretty common one in holy devotions up to that point, but not even St. Thomas Aquinas himself could figure out how it was supposed to work. After all, in Luke 1.47, Mary refers to God my Savior, which seems to imply that she was saved from sin at some point. However, this problem will later be resolved by Blessed John Duns Scotus, who argued, Christ was the most perfect mediator. Therefore, he exercised the highest degree of mediation in favor of another person. Now, what is the highest degree of mediation? How do you save someone from sin in the highest possible way? By preventing them from ever having sin. Which person could be chosen for this perfect mediation? Who else but his own mother, who would need to physically carry God as the new Ark of the Covenant? In short, the dogma of the Immaculate Conception arises out of an understanding of the perfection of God. Next time, what reasons do we have to think Mary was assumed into heaven? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.